It's a close friend or a spouse, somebody, so that you can be set free. You say, why do I have to tell anybody? Because you and I aren't supposed to be alone. We're supposed to live in community with each other. At home and even at church. Imagine what kind of place this would be if we grieved with each other and celebrated with each other like we could. It would be an amazing place. An amazing place. I'm inviting you today to be set free. I'm inviting you to take the shackles off. I'm inviting you to find your spouse, spend a couple minutes praying, somewhere in here if you want, even if you just want to hold their hand and hug them and say, when we get home, we've got to talk. We've got to talk. Because this is a big deal. And this entire series leads up to this moment. Because if you want to be real, you want to have a really deep relationship with somebody, then you've got to deal with the stuff that's in the top. You have to. I want to remind you there was a guy one time in a garden. What did Jesus say to his father? Father, if you could, take this cup from me. Wouldn't that be cool if that was your prayer today? Wouldn't that be cool if you came to God and said, God, I'm tired of my cup. I got answers. God, we've got work to do in the next couple minutes. And I ask today, God, that you would uh, heal my friends, continue to heal me and my family. I ask today, God, that you would let us put our stuff beside us to give you the cup, to spend a few minutes crying together and celebrating together and laughing together, and that we would truly be real with each other and with you. While Sheriff plays and sings, I just want you to take care of business. Whatever it is you need to do. You know who you need to talk to. You know what you need to say. So while he sings, you and God do business with each other, with your friends or spouse. Take advantage of this moment.